yeah so honestly speaking like uh, being in electronics branch i wanted to get into core electronics like firstly but somehow I, you know i got in touch with few of my friends who were preparing for software engineering roles and you know, from there my journey began you know um, towards software engineering I, and i began to develop interest in that so like it was a campus placement from deloitte uh, from college to deloitte and then i worked as a azure data engineer in deloitte for 3 years for one client so at deloitte i fortunately got staffed into a big data project which was you know for a big retail company Uh, based out of us you know uh, let's say if you don't have working experience on you know these technologies which are required for any data engineer you you should have some personal projects you know which where you have worked on uh, these technologies maintain your discipline in uh, learning the course uh, beyond time yeah just be patient don't lose hope if you are not getting calls because i think even for me it took around 4 to 6 months to get a good job Hey everyone this is Mansa Nagraj from Trendy Tech welcome to another exciting episode of conversations with big data experts having worked with multiple eminent firms like Deloitte in the past and now working at Mastercard as a data engineer let's get to know Gaurav's top strategies and preparation plans on how to become an in demand niche data engineer Um, hi Gara, a huge congratulations on your recent switch to Mastercard and a very warm welcome. Thank you so much for being a part of this session to share your knowledge and experience about the big data world. I uh, would be really happy to start the session with your introduction, Gara. Yeah, sure. Thank you Mansa for giving me this opportunity to share my experience with you and thank you for your con- constant support uh, via your course and you know um So actually um I I worked as a data engineer in Deloitte so my total years of experience is 3 years so like it was a campus placement from Deloitte uh, from college to Deloitte and then I worked as a Azure data engineer in Deloitte for 3 years for one client and then I you know recently switched to Mastercard as a data engineer again Okay so what was your education qualification got up like what did you graduate as correct so i i graduated as an electronics and communication engineer and then i got placed you know uh, into deloitte as a data engineer okay nice then um graduating as an electronics and communication engineer um i mean like what drove you towards making a career in it and uh, how did you end up in getting an opportunity to work with deloitte as a data engineer uh, at the beginning of your career itself Yeah so honestly speaking like uh, being in electronics branch I wanted to get into core electronics like firstly but somehow I, you know I got in touch with few of my friends who were preparing for software engineering roles and you know, from there my journey began you know um, towards software engineering I, and I began to develop interest in that so I enrolled in one offline course during my college uh, which you know helped me learn C++ and data structures and then you know i sat in placement college placements and from there i got selected in deloitte that's excellent that's a very good opportunity just at the beginning of your career to be able to work in one of the booming fields that is big data it's really interesting right yeah yeah okay so uh, could you throw some light on uh, the domain uh, the project that you worked on and the tech stack that you were working on at deloitte So at Deloitte I fortunately got staffed into a big data project which was you know for a big retail company um, based out of US and then you know uh, the resources they had were hosted on Azure so I got the opportunity to work as a cloud data engineer there where I used you know uh, resources like Azure Data Factory Azure Data Bricks Data Lake and other tools like CI CD Azure DevOps GitHub for code versioning so these technologies i could use in you know in my first company then i worked like uh, for various projects for the same client the first one was kind of a migration of an existing etl workflow so we had to do major enhancements using pyspark on azure uh, databricks then uh, there were some functions which needed to be created on azure functions so there you know i got to know about azure ecosystem and I also worked on CI CD uh things like Azure DevOps and GitHub so I got familiar with YAML scripts and uh, Azure DevOps environment as well for deployment and the next role uh like there was with the support team I worked for few months 
where we were monitoring and reporting the workflow the etl workflow and then i worked uh, for the healthcare segment of the same company where i developed azure data pipelines using azure data factory worked through data modeling and uh, created sql views and azure snaps analytics as per the uh, you know business requirements that's interesting pretty interesting you pretty much covered the whole uh, technology stack and um you've got to work on two different domains as well that's really interesting yes. uh, gara so what was the primary reason for you to take up uh, the big data masters program by sumit sir um even though you were already working on uh, the very uh, you know like trending technologies and big data on really good projects at Del- deloitte so yeah although i was working on big data project uh, but i i had no fundamental knowledge right you know of how distributed systems work at the back end how the back end infrastructure you know allows us to uh, you know process such huge data so quickly how the evolution of technologies in the big data domain has taken place so these things i was not i was not aware of uh, so one of my friend you know he told me about the big data course by sumit sir because he had already done it and got placement into a very good company a product based company so i got to know about sumit sir course from him okay nice so uh, how has your confidence level uh, been after completing the course successfully uh, did you feel more confident in handling the projects and uh, which are the major technologies that you felt are important in the industry right now since you have been exposed to a lot of technologies already and how did the course help you in mastering it so after completing the course i actually felt more confident in understanding you know and explaining the internal working of spark it actually helps in you know optimization code which is already you know there in spark, uh, spark notebooks so that really helped and you know it was one of my favorite topics when uh, sumit sir explained the you know internals of apache spark so i think you know as per the industry standard the expectations from a data engineer is to be really good at spark first of all and then uh, being proficient with its working its architecture how to optimize its performance while writing the code so yeah th- this really helped me and i think the next most important thing uh, for a data engineer is sql without being you know very good at sql and rdb ms concepts we cannot expect to work in any big data role yeah you know any data role be it data analyst data engineer data scientist then i think uh, the next important thing is one programming language which, which we should you know have a good grasp on be it python java or scala i think python is mostly used in companies but they ask for scala as well in few of the product based companies so sumit sir has sufficiently taught scala in his course so i you know uh, i did not go anywhere else to learn scala uh, i just learned it through the course itself i think these three are the must skill set for any data engineer uh, you know to be and other things are like devops github these things if you have worked on you should have you know good knowledge about this because they they will ask you based on your previous work experience so devops uh, github for code versioning then if you have worked on cloud technologies then they will ask you about that as well then streaming techniques like uh, apache kafka workflow orchestration like airflow so these tools uh, you know help uh, in etl workflow which is running you know for the company so i think we should also be uh, prepared well if you're going towards the interview excellent yeah that was a very good uh, brief on the major technologies uh, that would be you know like required for a data engineer um thank you for that and uh, well um, pretty much curious on how did you embark upon this opportunity firstly at one of the dream companies like mastercard right so um could you please uh, let us know about the approach or uh, and the preparation strategies that helped you in cracking mastercard yeah initially it is, like you know it was really a boring and tedious task to keep checking on new openings and applying on all the relevant jobs but i think this is what you know uh, one should do uh, i mean that is to create profiles on these platforms like linkedin indeed nokri insta hire i used these uh, platforms and got a really good response from them and uh, i think the next step is to have a good resume like don't keep any blank spaces out there uh, mention all the skill sets you have uh, mention your personal projects because you know uh, let's say if you don't have working experience on you know these technologies which are required for any data engineer you you should have some personal projects you know which where you have worked on 
uh, these technologies. I think Sumit sir course really helped me in that because uh, it had two major projects, uh, including all these technologies. Along with this, I can you know you know I can say that uh, if you reach out to your friends who are working at companies or if you build good connections on uh, these platforms like LinkedIn, Nokri, and uh, from there you can get um, you know a good response from hr or you can get calls from them so i think this this really helped me um, throughout throughout this process that's interesting that's a key takeaway definitely like it's important to have a very good resume prepared drafted um, and also a strong linkedin profile a professional platform wherein you know like you can get good opportunities as well and you know like having a good linkedin profile is a must if you're targeting for very good companies uh, product based companies um very well said um uh, gaurav thank you so much for that um well if you could uh, it would be really great if you could let us know about the interview experience uh, with mastercard sure sure so there were three rounds of interview i had uh, at mastercard so the first round was mostly based on sql and data modeling and rdbms concepts and then the second round uh, consisted of questions from you know my past working experience questions on etl workflow internal working of spark data warehousing concepts uh, so yeah this pretty much covered my second round and then there was third round where i was asked about um, you know my previous uh, work experience in the project architecture the challenges i have faced in that project how did i resolve them uh and there were some scenario based questions on data cleansing data manipulation and data validation so mainly in the third round they check you know uh, how uh, how you uh, how your spirit is uh, for working in in that company basically you you should show that confidence uh you know to the interviewer that you really want to take up this opportunity this is really important mm-hmm. Right. So definitely, you would have given multiple interviews prior to Mastercard as well. Uh, was it the same process yes. with other companies as well, like the same number of rounds and uh, the, the similar technologies that were focused on in the interviews? I think number of rounds, uh, either three or four. Uh, I think I have cracked four, five to six offers, uh, but uh, they all minimum had three rounds of interviews, and. Uh, pretty much these concepts were asked mostly sql spark and because i had experience in azure cloud so i was asked about azure cloud technologies as well then data warehousing and rdbms concepts great five to six offers that's really great right uh, so and this is a you know like a question that most of the um, you know big data aspirants would be uh, curious about is what would be an average high percentage that a you know like a data engineer uh, can anticipate after switching to this domain okay so i personally you know i had a hike of around 40 to 50% and then it depends on your current ctc as well you know and for the level which the company is hiring for then your tech stack if you have cloud experience so some companies prefer the cloud experience as well and they give a good hike so uh, like one should not be worried because the data engineers are not uh, being paid as equivalent to software engineers so there's no worry in that scenario that you know you are being paid less so yeah i think this is what i would say nice so uh, we would love to know some final tips and tricks to succeed in the data engineering field uh, from your end yeah i think you know uh, it's the attitude which uh, one should have while preparing for the interviews um uh, maintain your discipline in le- learning the course uh beyond time you know uh, while you are going through the course complete the assignments you know as 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 quickly as possible and uh, keep asking doubts but always keep in mind that you know you, know, you need to be patient even if you complete all the uh, requirements you know from a theory perspective you know from the interview perspective because in at the end getting calls res- or responses from hr is not in our hand right uh what is in our hand is to prepare well uh and you know maintain the discipline and not get upset or disappointed when you are not getting calls so keep applying uh, for the open jobs you see on these profile on these platforms like Link- linkedin indeed nokri and uh, yeah just be patient don't lose hope if you are not getting calls because i think even for me it took around 4 to 6 months to get a good job 
Thank you so much, Gaurav. That was a very insightful session. And yeah, uh, you have to be patient and uh, wait for the opportunities. That's very important and uh, never to get disheartened. Definitely, uh, people can crack MasterCard as well. Uh, you have shown through your smart work and uh, even the hard work that you have put in. And we wish you loads of success in your future endeavors. Uh, wish to see you, uh, you know, like reaching greater heights in your career. Thank you so much, uh, Gaurav. Have a nice uh, weekend. Thank you, Ansa. Thank you so much. So, guys, if you've enjoyed the video and found it informative, do show some love and support by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. If you have any further queries uh, about career in big data, do mention them in the comments and we will address them in our upcoming sessions. Thank you so much for watching.